Hello everyone, it's me ASMRI welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today I'll show you this type of minimal logo design in Illustrator. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So going to the file at first and going to taking new options, F logo and after that hit the create pattern. We will take two gradient for our preferences and color swatch and number three will take the background this background was like this okay and hit okay so these three color will use in this tutorial first we'll take the background the rectangle tool will draw square shape 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and for our convenience we'll lock it up by pressing ctrl or command 2 ctrl for the windows and command for the mac and after that going again into the rectangle tool and drawing a square shape which is a drawing by the press the shift and hold it and draw easily making this one stroke mode making this one white and after that making this one into the big stroke like 100 pt that's good press controller command c controller command f c for the copy and f for the forward paste making this one smaller square shape again by pressing shift and hold it and select all the steps and here is a scissor tool you can get this one by pressing right mouse click and you will get other options from the scissor tool we'll cut down this 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 so you have to select the pointer or subject at first to cut it out select the small one cut this and after that we'll remove the cut area and now this one press a from the keyboard and making this one round properly and this one will make the a from the direct selection tool and we are getting the corner round shape and making this one little bit of round knot and this area in the a portion we get this one it will be smaller than the upper one so here is the line segment tool and we can cut it out the line segment tool pt should be one or two we'll cut it out before that we have to make the stroke into the vector form going to the object and expand make this one fill and stroke and hit ok and now we'll cut it out so here intersect options select all the steps shift m or you can go to the shape builders tool and then press alter option alter windows and option for the mac and just hold it and remove this area so you can make this one little bit of like this and now again shape builders tool and remove the area so we got our desired shape that's fine so now group it up make this one into the middle of the artboard now ungroup this one select this i from the color picker and select this color make this one reverse g from the keyboard actually g from the keyboard and make this one little bit of like this or you can make like this okay this one i from the color picker second color that's good and now we'll provide the shadow over there how to do that going to the effects going to the styles and drop shadow so drop shadow should be like this or you can make this one into the upper side like five make sure that the preview is on you can easily watch the area where you are giving the shadow so minus three seven and five that's fine and 75 percent if you want you can make this one 85 percent and multiply or normal that is good and hit okay so our logo is ready another way is that you can make this one uncut and you can apply the color like this and like this so after that you can make the shadow going to the effect going to the styles and drop shadow and give the drop shadow settings like this and making this one group and middle of the artboard our logo is ready you can try two ways or many ways it's totally up to you hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of queries or questions please do comment in my video comment section until the next video is signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye